so today's video I'm going to be doing a locker organization video the second video in my back to school series so in this video I'm going to be talking about a few non-school related locker essentials I have so that's things like beauty and stuff and also some of the things that I use to keep my locker clean and organized so at my school the lockers are not metal which is slightly annoying but slightly good because they don't make weird metal sounds but also you cannot use any magnetic things on them so it's kind of annoying that they're not metal but it does have a hook on the door on the inside of the door it has a hook and then our lockers are not very big they're about they're about I don't know I don't know how big they are they're like smallish they're not like tiny but they're not like those massive big ones inside our lockers we have like the floor of the locker and then we have a shelf so we kind of have two spaces to put stuff so i usually put my books all up on the top shelf so i have my bottom shelf left for other stuff first of all i'm going to be telling you a few non-school related locker essentials that i like to keep in my locker so the first thing i like to keep is a hand sanitizer this one is just from bath and body works it's in midnight pomegranate there's a lot of people walking around your school every day so they're probably leaving some icky germs around so i usually just like to use this kind of before lunch and before any time i eat food um so it's just nice to have in your locker i usually have a special corner in my locker to keep all this stuff in sometimes i'll keep it in a box um, I probably will this year. I just haven't found a box yet. I kind of like to keep a little box with all my kind of beauty essentials in it. I also like to keep a lotion in with me. This one I'm probably not going to be keeping because I really like to use this one like every day. It's Lush Vanilla Delight. I absolutely love this. It smells so good. It smells kind of like vanilla and like has kiwis and bananas and stuff and it's just so nice. So I like to keep a moisturizing lotion in here just because especially in the winter when your hands are feeling really icky and dry and you just want to put on some moisturizer. So the next thing that I would keep in my locker is um, some tissues. So these are really cute tissues. They have owls on them, which is really, 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 really cute. I got these for Christmas in my stocking, so I don't, it doesn't need to be owl tissues. I just recommend to keep tissues, not just for your nose, but also to clean up messes because I'm always spilling stuff either in my locker or out. I'm always like having, say, a water bottle in my locker and then it just like spills and it, water goes everywhere or like even worse, like juice and it spills and everything's sticky. To have something to wipe up icky stuff with. Tissues are very important. The next thing I would recommend is kind of weird, but it is tampons because you never know when some creepy devil is going to creep upon you. The last kind of beauty essential that I would like to keep in my locker is some type of body spray or perfume. So I've been liking to keep Impulse in my locker recently. Well, not recently, just this year. I thought it'd be easier to keep Impulse in my locker because it is more durable. It's not like a glass perfume bottle that could smash in there. It's an aerosol can. This is Impulse Love Story. It smells really, really good. Now for some more school-related things I like to keep in my locker. The first thing I recommend to keep in your locker is something like this. So this I just got from Typo. I used to keep my magazines in it, but then my magazine collection grew to be too big. And I needed one of these for school anyway. Last year, my year level coordinator gave everybody in my year level one of these things. It wasn't obviously as pretty as this one, but um, to keep stuff in our locker. But I chucked that out stupidly at the end of the year. I had a spare one on my desk that I wasn't using anymore because my magazines didn't fit in there anymore so I decided why not use this so this one is from typo and it's really pretty it's red with like these really pretty flowery patterns on here and on the front it just has this thing that you can like write whatever um, you want on there like miscellaneous or you can write your name or whatever so what I like to keep in here is kind of the more random things that don't have any place like kind of spare notebooks you might be keeping random papers that don't belong anywhere else but in here um like headphones if you need headphones for some particular classes keep them in there like just random things that are kind of more flat that you want to keep in your locker this thing helped me so much last year something else that i mentioned in my school organization video um i keep it in my locker not like in my purse because i don't have one is these things, they're called system cards or index cards or note cards, whatever you want to call them. They're just these blue or they can come in any colour. So I explain how I use them in my school organisation video. I basically just use them for like flashcards and like palm cards and stuff. 
But I like to keep the box in my locker because it's a big box and I can't carry this around in my pencil case because it's too heavy. So I can just run to my locker whenever I need them or if I know I'll need them for a certain class, I can just bring them out. So I keep these in my locker too. Another thing I would recommend to keep in your locker is a little box. So this box is from Target. I think it's just this nice mint green colour and I've labelled it Clips and Bits. So in here... I have clips and bits. So I have paper clips. I have little mini clips like this. I have big clips like this. And then I have some cute donut clips and stuff. I recommend keeping a box of like paper clips and clips and stuff in your locker. If you saw my school organization video, you will see, you will have seen that I like to keep them clipped onto my binder. But then once I've used all of those, I have to come back and refill from my locker. It's just really nice to have them in your locker. They come in handy more than you would think. Next thing I would recommend to keep in your locker is a little pencil case that is not your pencil case. This one is just from Akikike and it's really cute. It has like trees and rainbows and birds on it. And in here I recommend you to keep spare pens and pencils. So I keep this many spare pens and pencils for when my pencils or pens in my real pencil case, my big pencil case, run out, I always have spare ones on hand to refill. These are just like the really cheap ones. You get like a massive pack for like $2. Because really when my pencils run out of lead, I don't bother putting more lead in them. I just grab a new pencil. Then I just have spare pens, coloured pens and black pens and lead. Spare lead, even though I don't fill up the lead. I like to have lead. So yeah, having a little pencil case full of spare pencils and pens and textures and highlighters is a really good idea for when that day happens when you have no pens left, you're like, oh wait, hold up girl, I have these ones in my locker. So other spare things that I would recommend to keep is spare dividers. So I just have three because um, I use them all. So I just have three dividers that I can use if my dividers break themselves. So yeah, I recommend to keep spare dividers. I also recommend to keep spare notebooks. So this one I've like not even opened. It's a bigger one than usual though. It's like 200 page. Um, so I recommend to keep um, a few spare notebooks. I have this one. I have a purple one just in case um, like usually in my maths notebook will run out really 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 quickly. So I always have spare ones on hand just in case. So that is it for my locker organization video. Basically the moral of the story is keep your locker clean and you will win the world. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to me to hear my beautiful Indian accent. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <coughs> what pencil? Whoa. Whoa, man. Hands up. It's party time. Raise the roof. Raise the